Today we're unboxing a brand new dual band radio. This is the Alunce Redivis HA1UV. Uh, this could possibly be one of the best new handheld radios for any beginner operator or possibly even just a great radio to throw in your you know, everyday carry kit or your emergency kit. The battery is great, it's rugged. Let's find out more about this. All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Victor Alpha 7 Delta Delta Uniform. My name is Daryl. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We do lots of radio reviews and things of that nature. A uh, quick rundown and unboxing of this Alunce Redivis HA1 UV today. We're going to take a look at some of these features, uh, you know, take a look at uh, the battery capacity, the charging capabilities, all that good stuff. Um, seriously, whether you're a new ham radio operator or an experienced operator, uh, you know, obviously finding the right radio is key. And uh, this guy can fit a lot of needs. I think that, uh, you know, it's it's a basic radio and the fact that, you know, it doesn't do GPS or anything like that. But it, the features that it does have are focused like it is waterproof it is rugged like the build quality perfect uh you know dropping this thing it would be absolutely no problem uh even the antenna itself is a is a very sturdy very sturdy antenna uh so yeah let's let's dive into this thing we'll do a quick open boxing and uh, have a look at what comes in the box let's go all right diving into the box so this is how it was shipped to me from alance redivis you know, nice average little radio box, um, you know, standard as is. This is the Alunce HA1UV. It is a dual band radio. This box seems pretty standard. Okay, it comes with, obviously, the manual. Lots of useful information on in here. Can already see a couple of uh, spelling errors, but that's okay. It gets the point across. All the operations are in here. Then programming cable. Now I'm not 100% certain this comes with. Uh, every unit. I did ask specifically that they sent me this because um, I do have another Redivis, the Redivis HA1G, the uh, the GMRS version of this radio. Another very fantastic radio. If you didn't already watch that video, uh, have a look back. I did uh, a little open boxing and uh, a bit of information on that one. Uh, this radio is very identical to that radio, the HA1G. This is the HA1UV. So this is the dual band. Uh, you got the very high frequency and the ultra high frequency, obviously, standing for the as as what UV stands for. Uh, looks like there's a little screen protector. We're going to get rid of that right away if I can get my nails under it. There we go. Nice. Look at that screen. Nice. Uh, this radio, the build quality is great. Same with the HA1G. The build quality is fantastic. It feels great in your hand. It's, uh, you know, it's not too big. It's not too small. It's robust. Um, and uh, I, I would not hesitate, you know, if this thing dropped, I, I wouldn't, you know, be sad about it whatsoever. This thing would take it just as is. This radio, the button locations, very, uh, very, you know, if you're a middle finger keyer or a Index finger keyer doesn't matter. The knobs on it on top very, uh, very much so are, you know, I, I can't describe the res there's a bit of resistance in it, making it feel, you know, tactile and uh, not like you're just free spinning a, a knob or anything like that. Also, this channelized knob, the clicking, not sure if you can hear that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very firm and uh, uh, very robust feeling. You're not going to break that. Uh, this antenna is removable like the HA1G uh, SMA connector on top of there. And so you can, you know, swap it out for uh, another SMA antenna if you have one. Uh, I'm not sure about the waterproof capabilities if you change this antenna. It looks like this seals quite well into this uh, recess here, so I wouldn't be too... 
um, excited about throwing this in the water if you don't have the stock antenna on because it does really feel like it snugs down into that spot and uh, you know probably adds to the the waterproof abilities of this radio um, so my first thoughts you know like I said the weight of this radio it's not too heavy but it feels like you're actually holding something it's not just an empty uh, empty package um, you know it's the button placement fantastic and uh, yeah, I would, I'm definitely going to have fun using this thing, playing around with it in the field. So let's see what else comes in the box. We got our radio. Uh, we got a dock. I love docks. This, uh, this radio obviously charges via USB-C as well. So if you didn't see that already, USB-C, like everybody's doing these days, is fantastic. And the dock is USB-C as well. So everything is standard. Uh, all you need is, uh, you know, your standard USB-C brick and, or USB brick, and uh, you can get to charging. Uh, as, as with most radios, a little lanyard and a belt clip. Um, one thing I actually don't see, oh, screws are probably in there. Yeah, look at that. So uh, I might put the belt clip on, might not. Not 100% sure yet. Maybe keep it off for now. All right, so that's what comes in the box. All this stuff seems pretty good. Like the USB cord, uh, you know, like they didn't cheap out. It's got the nice uh, protections there, so you're not going to bend it and break it. Um, even the dock itself is actually quite a quite a nice little dock. It's, uh, you know, very finished. There's no jagged edges, uh, like some of the cheaper ones that are available on AliExpress and uh, things like that. Um, so that's about, that's it for what comes in the box, you know, very standard packaging, uh, you know, it came from China. So this has been roughed up a little bit and, uh, you know, but the radio's a durable radio on its own. So I'm not too worried. All right. So let's go over some of the features of this radio. So obviously this is a dual band radio. Uh, I believe this is 5 watts output. I'm going to correct that on the screen here. Um, but this radio, dual band, so you're, you got your UHF and your VHF. Uh, pro you can program in all your repeaters, offsets, that sort of thing. Uh, the screen is fantastic. So it is bright. It is clear. And, uh, you know, even if there's a light on it, I mean, this, this light is pretty blinding, but... Uh, even if there's a light on it, you're using this outside, the, uh, it is just an absolutely fantastic screen. Uh, the buttons as well, the button feels nice. They're not, uh, you know, it doesn't feel like you're just going to push it directly back into the radio. So one of the other things, too, I noticed about this radio, as well as the uh, HA-1G, is the audio quality is actually very superior. It's fantastic coming out of this radio. And especially, um, you know, some of, the, some of the waterproof radios out there, because of the fact that they're waterproof, they, they seal them up quite well, and the audio quality doesn't, uh, you know, the microphone quality and the, the um, uh, speaker quality is not so great when you're, when you're trying to waterproof a phone or uh, waterproof a radio. But this the the feedback that i've had uh with both this radio and the ha1g is the audio quality is is you know undis undiscernible from any of uh you know a japanese or american radio manufacturer they uh they sound fantastic and uh there is a roger beep at the end uh, of the transmission on the gmrs one um and you know all those types of features are changeable within the menu system. Uh, we'll do another video going into the actual radio programming, uh, you know, all the different functions and features of it that way. And uh, yeah, we'll actually get it out in the field, do some testing that way. Uh, one of the things I really like about this brand is the price. The price of these radios uh, is very friendly to entry level. So if you're you know just into ham radio, you're not quite sure if you want to spend the big bucks on a on a big uh, uh, you know name brand. Redivis and Alance, they have that name brand quality. And for some reason their their pricing just is is entry level, you know. I would as opposed to a Baofeng, you know, UV5 RH or something like that, uh, this radio you know, comes in at a, a similar price, but the it's just so much more rugged, uh, the, you know, waterproof, all that good stuff. So, so I would hands down take one of these guys over top of one of the bell things. So who is this radio for? Uh, is it for beginners? Absolutely. This is a fantastic first radio. The functionality of it is pretty simple and straightforward. You can program in a repeater. You can do simplex. It comes with everything you need to get going out of the box. Uh, it's, it's perfect for a beginner. Uh, is it a good for an experienced ham? Yes, absolutely. Throw this in your, uh, you know, in the 
glove box or your vehicle uh you know it's cheap enough that it's it's you can have one in each vehicle uh you know throw it in your go bag as a backup this thing with a 2800 milliamp battery this thing will last a long time with that uh with that battery also it being USB C. Um, you know, obviously you can charge it off your, you know, cell phone charger. iPhones now are USB C, so you know, it's it's everywhere. You can you can charge it anywhere. Um, you know, as for emergency preparedness and off-road, like I said, this thing is robust and rugged. The battery is huge, so if you, you know, throw it in your emergency kit and it's not going to be used for a while, the battery should last. Uh, as far as off-roading, you know, everything gets muddy, uh, wet, and uh, soggy, and this radio being waterproof, um, you know, as tough as it is, would be a fantastic uh, uh, throw in the, in the glove box radio. So, my final thoughts on the Redivis HA1 UV. This radio, I can't wait to get out into the field and play with it a little bit more. Um, you know, as far as these, the battery, rugged, simple to use, comes with everything out of the box. I don't know what more you could need from an entry level, um, you know, cheaper uh, uh, radio like this. And, you know, should you buy it? Absolutely. Um, and, uh, you know, what do you think of the HA1 UV? This is a brand new radio. Um, are you going to buy one? Let me know in the comments. If you bought one, let me know how you're liking it so far. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You're probably not going to see my videos come up for you. Um, but thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.